I'll show you what level curves are. So consider a function, for example, it's right here in GeoGebra, f of x, well, or rather x squared plus 2y squared equals 2 a. Let's create a slider. Okay, this is slider, since we have x squared and 2y squared, both are positive. It doesn't make sense the slider to have negative values. So let's change the settings of the slider to um, from minus 0 0.1 to 5 with an increment of 0 0.1. Okay, that's our slider. That's when we do level curves. Usually we just represent this and this ellipse some dips because it's longer on the x than on the y. This ellipse keeps growing as the constant grows. When the constant is zero, there's nothing or negative, and then the ellipse keeps growing. What it means is that over all these points, for example, when the ellipse is equal to two, these are the points on the plane so that x squared plus two y squared is equal to a. Let's put here another view. Of 3D dimension view. Okay, and let's make a representation of the following function f of x, y equals to x squared plus 2y squared. So this is the function. The graph of this function is this surface here. Of course, it's all related. It's the same as this thing here. These are curves on the plane. These are the this is the function. And let's make a plane that goes up and down along this thing. So I'm going to put the plane at the same height of as the level curve. So I'm going to put z equals to a. Here's the plane. Now, what happens when I move the slider? If the slider is zero, if the slider is negative. The plane, which is this bluish plane, is below the coordinates plane and does not intersect the blue. Now, as I keep increasing the plane, or rather the height of the plane, what happens is that the bluish light blue plane intersects this surface, this paraboloid, and the higher the plane the bigger this sort of circle. Now, this is not a circle, this is like this, an ellipse, but it's smaller. So you can see here how both are increased. Now, what is the relation between the plane, this surface, and this ellipse here? The plane it gives the height, it tells you what is the value of the function. For example, I said equals a equals to three. This means that this height is 3, so this intersection are the points that have value of the function equals to 3. And that projects into this ellipse here, which happened to be this ellipse here. Let's see if we can rotate this a little bit. Here is the ellipse. Now, when we move the ellipse down there, there's no intersection. As it keeps increasing, this ellipse is here. They keep increasing, intersecting the surface of the function and creating bigger and bigger slides. Rotating this back to here, what it means is that at any height, this is x, y, this is the value of the function. The function takes the value 3.3 .3, and the set of points here, this ellipse, which is this one here, have value of the function 3.3. .3. 